Are you tired of the same boring, hardly visible Fallout 4 map that is just a bore to look at? Well, you're in luck. Because there's a colored map available, and I'm gonna show you just what you need to do to install it. The first thing you're gonna need to go need to do is to download the mod and the link for this mod will be in the description below it is the color map 4k slash 2k version with magazines bobbleheads and armor locations now just go to the manual download and download the main file and if you don't want uh, bobbleheads and power armor locations marked just wait because we'll be able to fix that in just a second now you should already know how to install mods basically it's pretty simple you just gotta find the mod and then you just have to drag it into Nexus Mod Manager into whatever category you want from the unassigned category in this instance I've created a custom map category once you have this mod in Nexus Mod Manager you can enable it and this will bring up an options menu you can have it as a 4k with all locations which includes Pit Boys, Bobbleheads, uh, Magazines, not Pit Boys, I meant to say Bobbleheads, Magazines, Power Armor, etc. Uh, you can have 4K with Area Locations, which just shows where vaults and settlements will be, and then just Vanilla, which is nothing except the things that you discover, and then you can have 2K versions of all of them if you just want to save a little bit of VRAM. I personally prefer the Vanilla version, but you can choose any of these options, but if you're trying to stay pure to the game, Vanilla will be your best bet because it doesn't mark anything. Okay, you're back in Fallout 4. You're ready to set out into the wasteland with your new awesome colored map. But when you go to it, it's all green or blue or whatever color you have your Pit Boy set to. Well, there's still another step you have to do. So let's get to that. Now for this mod, in order to get to work, you have to edit several lines of the Fallout 4.any file. So the best way to do that is to go to Notepad++ and open it up. I already have it open in this case. Then you just had to have to add the following lines to your display category. Just copy them from the description and paste them. The Pip Boy, you don't have to copy it. You just have to go down to the Pip Boy section, or sorry, the display, uh, the Pip Boy section, yeah. And you have to set it down at the bottom. B Pip Boy disable effects to one from zero. Then finally, you have to go up to Archive, which is right around here, right there, and copy these two lines from it, and then paste them down here. And once you've done that, be sure to save it. You can exit out of Notepad++ and return to your game. All right, moment of truth. Let's check it out. The Pip Boy should be white because you disabled the effects. You go to the map. And it's all here in glorious color. You can see the roads, you can see the water, you can see the brown of the wasteland, and it is amazing. I really, really like this mod, and I hope it is very helpful for you guys out there searching the wasteland on an adventure. If you don't like the white color, you can just uh, re-enable Pit Boy effects, but you won't be able to have the color of the map. Anyways, guys, I hope this guide was helpful for you. All the uh, model download links will be in the description below for you to check out and download for yourself. So thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to go support the mod. And I will see you all next time. Buy Fallout 4 in the summer sale. It's 30 bucks. Yes.